بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد تفسير الصادي بعبد الرحمن بن ناصر الصادي رحمه الله هذه جزء الأحقاف سورة الأحقاف بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هامين تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز الحكيم ما خلقنا السماوات والأرض وما بينهما إلا بالحق وأجل مسمى والذين كفروا أما أنذروا أنذروا مريدون إن حاميم the revelation of the book is from Allah the Almighty the most wise we have not created the heavens and the earth and all that is between them except for a true purpose and for an appointed uh, for an appointed time but those who disbelieve pay no heed to the warning that is given to them is this is praise and veneration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his holy book highlighting, highlighting its dignity and implicit, implicitly telling people to seek guidance but its light focus on pondering its verses and extract its uh, treasure having referred the revelation of his book that contains commands and prohibitions Allah now mentions his creation of the heavens and the earth thus combining the creation and the command verily he his is the creation and the command this is like the verse in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it is Allah who created seven heavens and, and of the earth the like thereof his decree descends throughout, throughout them and he sends down the angels with his revelation by his command to move among his slaves he will saying proclaim that there is no God but I so fear me he created the he created the heavens and the earth for a true purpose it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created those who are accountable and he created their dwellings and made and made to be of service to them all that is in the heavens and on, 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 on earth then he sent his messengers to them and sent down to them his books he sent his commands and prohibitions to them and told them that this realm is the realm of striving and a place for those who strive to pass through to pass through it's not a place of settlement that people will never leave rather they will move on from it to the place of settlement and they turn abroad and they will find the reward for their deeds that they did in this realm and waiting for them in, in full in that, re, in, that, in that realm. Thus Allah establishes proof that points to that re, realm and gives people a test of reward and punishment in this world so as to motivate them to seek what they love and flee from what they fear. Therefore he says here, we have not created the heavens and the earth, all that is between them except for a true purpose, that is we have not created them without a purpose or in vain, rather it is so that people will come to know the greatness of the creator thereof and find evidence for his uh, of his perfect attribute and so that they may come to know that one that uh, the one who created both the realms despite their vast, uh, vastness is able to recreate people after they are dead in order to request to request them and that their creation and life is limited for an appointed time having told us uh, of that and he is the most truthful of, of speakers and thus established proof and enlightened and light, and the way Allah now tells us that despite that, some people insist on turning away from the truth and turning away from the call of the messengers, as he says, but those who disbelieve pay no heed to the warning that is given to them. As for those who believe, when they come to know the truth, they responded to the commands of their Lord, after the truth and submitted with humility and veneration, thus they attain all that is good and all that is evil was warded off from them.